Three Card Monty is one of the oldest hustles around. In fact, in the 1880s, Jefferson Soapy Smith made his name with the game and was shot by an angry mark. Today, Three Card Monty continues to rip off thousands of new victims every year. Three Card Monty works on three principles. Sleight of hand, conspiracy, and greed. In the end, we will always win and the mark will always lose. This is the new Monty. The team is back at a park. It's full of workers on their lunch break. But can the hustlers convince streetwise New Yorkers to hand over their hard-earned cash? Right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is work perfect. This is good. You guys got good cash try. on you? Got it. Got cash? You got cash. Yeah. All right. See you guys in a little bit. See you later. Yeah. Each member of the team has a role to play. Apollo is the operator. Hey, lady, how you doing? All right. Danny's role, the convincer. She has to attract a mark and get them right. to play. I'll give it to you slow, all right? Black, black, black makes okay. you lose. Red makes you win. Red makes you win. You follow a lady, she smiles at you, she gives you some money. She doubles your money. We play the you. rules of the game seem simple. Right. Keep your eye on the queen of hearts, known in the game as the lady, and place your money where you think she is. Hey, guys, how you doing, man? I said, these guys can mouth play you, lady. You guys ever hear this game? Find the lady? Three car money, man. You lose on the black, you win on the red. Follow the lady, that's all it's at. Where's the lady? That one. Turn it over. See, I'm telling you, you put money on this, you're gonna win. Danny wins, making the marks believe that they could win too. This is essential for three card money. I made the game look simple. So the marks were thinking, hey, we can beat this guy. I'll bet you 10, we'll get you 10. Ryan is playing the shill. His job is to lose and tempt the marks to play for the winnings. Simple game, I'll give you another chance, all right? Okay. Where's the red? In the middle. You're up. Woo. You want? Danny wins again, convincing the marks that this game is a sure bet. You guys to play. I'll, let, I'll give you a free beat if you guys want to play. I'm in. Just watch it down. You see the black, you see the red. Follow the red. Follow the red. Follow the red. Where's the lady at? Against their better judgment, these guys are suckered in. Uh, I got 20 on that one. Ryan bets first, intentionally picking the wrong card. And Apollo adds another twist. Feel free to guess it. Now you guys got even bets. I can only take one of those. So whoever bets the highest, all right? 40? Okay. And he takes Ryan's bet. Now the marks have come so close to winning, they're completely hooked. This part of the scam always draws in the marks because they believe they could have won. The marks are counting their cash for the next round, but Apollo is about to give the game a dramatic turn. Follow the lady, it's real simple. Watch it get down again. There's the lady. Now follow her carefully. Yeah, you, what you don't want to do is you don't want to watch the black. Where's she at? Playing 60? That's I it? 60. All right, turn it over, man. Apollo has used a very clever sleight of hand move and the marks come up as big losers. Eight cops. The siren is all the excuse they need to run off with the $60. Of course, it's only a passing ambulance, but the marks are left confused and a lot poorer. I saw this girl over there and she was playing, she was winning, and then this other kid comes over and then he starts losing. And I was actually able to follow all the cards with my eyes. So I thought it was pretty easy. I just thought the other kid was just like some knucklehead, you know? I was like, all right, I'm good at this. So when the kid lost all of his money, I was like, all right, I'll play. And then I just started losing. I was like, man, what the hell's going on? This guy's just walking around with my money in five minutes. Not even five minutes. Not I even think it was like minutes. three minutes. Like three minutes. After a few hours in the park, the hustlers made a cool $500. But how exactly does the hustle work? Apollo is going to let us into the very secret world of Three Card Monty. The secret move is called the hype. When you think they're throwing the lady, they throw the top card and hold on to the queen. The problem is, you never know when they're throwing the hype and when they're not. So now that you've been properly educated, find the lady.
you'll never win.